Hello internet world. Welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. I have got uh, such an exciting product to share with you today. Uh, in fact, this product is extremely useful and it's gonna be something I'm gonna use going forwards because I'm just amazed at how versatile uh, this is for powering products in remote places or if perhaps you go camping and you need power while you're camping or you travel and you need extra power uh, or indeed you just need a backup for power outages or something that's going to harness the uh, solar energy uh, from the sun and give you enough power to, uh, to, to run lights, charge smartphones, maybe even run a television, ideal for use in something like a caravan even. And that is this product here, it's the Power Oak 400 watt hour portable power solar generator. I'm going to be going through all of the specifications very shortly, showing you it in action as well. Uh, before I do so, I do just want to bring your attention to today's video sponsor, which is Editor's Keys. Now, Editor's Keys uh, gives you the power, so very, very apt for this video, to actually uh, edit faster. They do keyboard overlays for many of the popular video and audio editing programs. Uh, you can pop them on top of your keyboard. They give you all of the shortcuts and allow you to really get into your editing uh, a lot faster and uh, get your editing uh, done with ease. You can check out their range of keyboard covers at editorskeys.com. Back to the review of the Power Oak portable uh, generator. Now, before I show you the actual product itself, let's just uh, have a quick rundown what we get inside the box. Uh, so we do get a user manual. This is going to guide you through everything you need to know about your uh, portable power supply. We also get this cable here. This is a cable I'm very excited about. Now, I can't demonstrate this particular cable, but this plugs into the input on the side of the, uh, the power generator. And then this end here, these two cables, go into a solar panel. Now hopefully I've got coming or winging its way to me a one meter by 0 0.5 meter, uh, 120 watt uh, solar panel. And when that comes in, I will try and show you that in a video. And it connects to this and that charges or trickle charges the, um, uh, the unit here. Very, very excited about this cable and being able to use uh, solar power with this. Um, I'm pretty sure, oh actually let me, let me just give you the, the real rundown on solar uh, because I was reading this uh, the other day. Very, very important factor here. Uh, where was it? Solar, solar, solar. Here we go. Uh, you need um, between 14 volt and 40 volt solar panel. Uh, I think the one I'm going for is an 18 volt and 120 watt of solar charging power. I think the one I've got coming is either 100 watt or 120 watts. So very, very exciting. Uh, also inside the box, you get this additional box here. This has some cables for a 12 volt vehicle accessory adapter. And also this one here, which are some jump leads, uh, which connect into the, uh, the product and allow you to jump start your car. So some extra cables there. And then we also get another box just here. Uh, and this one, because obviously charging via solar is what I'm interested in with this product, but you can obviously charge it from the uh, mains. So you could charge it and then take it on holiday with you, pop it in the caravan, uh, whatever you're gonna do. So you can charge it with this uh, power adapter. And then when it's fully charged, you can use the internal battery capacity. So let's just pop that to one side. Before I show you this, let's just grab the box. Here you can see here, 400 watt hour battery capacity. On the side here, you've got some really important specifications. Uh, 400 watt hour, it's a lithium ion battery. Uh, approximate charge time, so from the AC wall charger, six to eight hours. Uh, DC car charger, 10 to 20 hours. Solar charger, four to six hours, if you've got that 120 watt. Uh, rated power output is 300 watt with a peak of 600 watt. And it's multi-voltage as well, so 100 all the way through to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Uh, the 
DC outputs are four USBs, one 12 volt car port, and two DC six millimeter ports as well. Uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the actual product. I've been trying to delay picking it up because it's very heavy. So before I pick it up, I want to say a big hello to everyone inside the live chat, including uh, Pyramid7, good morning to you, and also VZena. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So let's take a closer look. It's heavy. It's turned off at the moment. You can see here, this is the front. And on the front, I'm gonna to have to rest it down, it's far too heavy. <laughs> on the front here, we've got the main power on off button, and then we've got options to, to turn the DC portion on, which is this portion here, and also the AC portion, which is on the side. So if we turn this on, oh, you have to hold it down for a few seconds. There we go, we've got the little LED uh, display here with the backlight. It shows the current input and output wattage on here as well, as well as a battery meter on this side here. And then we push and hold uh, these to turn either the DC on or off. So green light comes on and that means DC on. And then we can turn off again. And then same for the AC, you can turn that on or off. Let's give you a closer look at that display. So really good display on here with LED lights as well. And then we've got the output section for DC. So just here, we can open this up and we've got that 12 volt vehicle accessory socket. We've also got two three amp pin outs as well for DC 12 volt. And then we've also got some USB ports here, 2.1 amp, one amp, and then another 2.1 and one amp one there. Let's turn the AC off and turn the DC on. And then let's grab my smartphone. I've got a lightning cable just here. Let's plug this in and then grab my smartphone. You can see here, here is my smartphone. We turn the screen off, so it's currently turned off, and then plug in, and it starts charging. So very, very simple, charge your smartphone from this, but you can do so much more than that, which I'm gonna demonstrate right now. So let's turn this product on its side. This is the exciting bit for me. Ugh. On this side here, we've got two three pin plugs. So we can actually power things like televisions, uh, lights. I'm gonna power this light and so much more. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be using this for very shortly. So let's just plug this in to the side. I'm gonna turn it on straight away. I think that's turned on. And then we're gonna turn the DC off. You don't have to turn the DC off, but let's turn the DC off and then we'll turn the AC on and then we will Oh no, it was already turned on. So now this is powering the lamp. So this is powering the lamp. It will power it for a good few hours, I would imagine, probably six to eight hours you'll get from this. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you'll get a really good charge time or, or power time from this. It's not really even drawing any power from here because it's a very low wattage device. My use case scenario for this product, I'm gonna share with you very shortly, but before I do so, let's turn this off and turn the AC off as well. And then we can unplug. And don't forget, we've got two plug sockets here, so we can actually uh, power two devices at the same time. Now, I just wanna show you this side portion just here. This is where you can actually uh, charge the internal battery from here. So you can plug it in with that adapter that I showed you earlier goes into your wall socket. You can actually power it via solar, which is what I'm intending to do with that one meter by 0 0.5 meter, uh, 100 watt uh, solar panel. And then you've also got a car jump starter connection here as well. So you can use that cable for uh, sort of jump starting your vehicle as well. So input here and an extra output for jump starting your car underneath. A uh, nice carry handle on the top. Oh. And also some rubberized feet on the bottom. A very, very neat unit. Very, very cool indeed. And uh, Power Oak have got a winner on their hands with this one. Now, I kept teasing you. My use case scenario for this uh, is to actually power two electric garage doors with it and have a solar panel on the roof. 
I will let you know how that goes probably on one of my social media platforms. So do follow me on Geekanoids uh, on Twitter or Geekanoids on Instagram and I'll, I'll share a picture of the solar panel and how it's working with the Power Oak uh, portable power solar generator uh, in a future post. So do stay tuned for that. Uh, we've got plenty of you tuning in as well. Uh, we've got Pyramid 7, beautiful. I hope you're able to provide a follow-up vid after a few weeks. Uh, $360 US, US dollars. That is a really good price as well. And in fact, I've left links uh, to where you can pick this up for yourself down in the video description. So please do check out those links and use them if you, if you can. They are affiliate links. They earn me a little bit of kickback in commission. They don't actually cost you a penny extra. So I've provided those links down below. Uh, that is pretty much it for this review. Can I recommend this product? Absolutely. It is a beast of a uh, battery pack or external power source. Uh, imagine doing Pokemon Go with your smartphone connected to this and carrying it around. That would be absolutely bonkers, wouldn't it? Maybe that would make a really good future video. Watch this space. Anyway, I'm only joking. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. I'll see you in another one very, very soon. This is an amazing device. Very, very pleased with it, really impressed.